Because a lot of times we do not think, sometimes we do not understand that when you have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you have entered the battle. Amen. Some say I don't really want to. But just when you accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you declared a battle with Satan. You declared a battle with Satan. Amen. But the joy that we have is when you have declared a battle with Satan, you are on the side of the victorious. You are on the side of the victorious. Amen. 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 Israel contre Amalek. Israel defeats Amalek. I would like us to all rise. Amen. Amen. We will read from the book of Exodus, chapter 17. Verset 8 à 16. Verses 8 to 16. We will read together. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Amalek fait combattre Israël à Réfidim. Alors Moïse dit à Josué, Choisis-nous des hommes, sort et combat Amalek. Demain, je me tiendrai sur le sommet de la colline, la verge de Dieu dans ma main. Josué fit ce qu'il avait dit Moïse pour combattre Amalek. Et Moïse, Aaron et Hur montèrent au sommet de la colline. Lorsque Moïse élevait sa main, Israël était plus fort. Et lorsqu'il baissait sa main, Amalek était plus fort. Le main de Moïse étant fatigué, il prit une pierre qu'il plaçait sur lui et il s'assit dessus. Aaron et Hur soutenaient ses mains, l'un des côtés, l'autre de l'autre. Et ses mains restaient fermes jusqu'au coucher du soleil. Josué vainquit Amalek et son peuple au tranchant de l'épée. L'Éternel dit à Moïse, écris cela dans le livre pour que le souvenir s'en conserve et déclare à Josué que j'effacerai la mémoire d'Amalek de dessus le ciel. Moïse bâtit un hôtel et lui donna pour nom l'éternel ma bannière. 
Il dit, parce que la main a été levée sur le trône de l'Éternel, il y aura guerre de l'Éternel contre Amalek de génération à génération. Que le Seigneur bénisse sa parole. Amen. Nous pouvons nous asseoir dans sa présence. Amen. Nous avons parlé de la combat spirituel. So we are talking about the spiritual fight. Just as I said, Jésus Christ est le sauveur. When you have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you have declared war on Satan. Amen. 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 Or you are with Jesus. You cannot say that you are neutral. And there's no neutral person. Amen. Amen. So in the passage that we've just read, Amalek Azali Dan. And who is Amalek? I would like us to read and know the origins of Amalek. Amen. Because in order to understand the matter, we must know the origins of our enemies. Because if you know the origins of your enemies, you will know the technique and their tactics and how to break the system. There's a lot of Christians. That come to church not knowing who they are. And they don't know that they have the effort to break the system. They don't know how the enemy reacts. Amalek, how would you want? Where did Amalek come from? If we go back to the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter one, verse forty-one. 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 And Genesis 36, 9 to 12. Awa is a disolo ya Isaiah na Jacob. Here is the story of is um Isaiah and Jacob. That was Isaac aboti ba na ni ba de Isaiah na Jacob. When is Isaac gave birth to two children, Isaiah and Jacob. Isaiah alina ki Jacob alina ki Isaiah ko le kapa skaz alina ki le premier ne. So he liked Isaiah the most because he was the firstborn. And Rebecca liked Jacob most. Jacob. And Rebecca liked Jacob most. 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 And Rebecca Esaïe, avec qui Esaïe? Ça lui coûte Esaïe. Alors oui, on a une chose dans les hommes de la société, les hommes qui ne peuvent pas comprendre. And he said, my eyes no longer see. Mais la vie n'est pas bonne à eux. But I would like to bless you. La vie tout le monde malade. I would like us to follow us. La vie n'est pas bonne à eux. I would like to bless you. Mais il faut se la couper pour la vie. But before blessing you, qu'est-ce que vous me l'avez dit à ma lamba et vous ayez la gaine à lire pour ne pas mourir. Go and kill a, an animal, cook it, and bring it to me to eat to bless you. That is the words that came from Isaac. And because Rebecca heard those words, she went on to speak to Jacob. He said, I heard your father say, but you go on and kill an animal, bring it for me to cook, and I will give it to you to give to your father, for your father to bless you. And that is what happened. And when Jacob received that blessing, Esau came after. When you see, there are many people who are already Isaac is the first blessing that he has received from Jacob. When he arrived, he found that Isaac had already given his blessing to Jacob. Hallelujah. Amen. I would like us to follow. After he received the blessing, oh, he said, "Let me." So he already gave the the blessing that was needed to Jacob. The Bible tells us. Esau came to Aye, Aye, who came to Papa Naye, after he received the blessing from Jacob. When Esau arrived and found that his dad had blessed Jacob. In Genesis chapter twenty-seven. In Genesis twenty-seven. 
Let's hear what the Bible says. Esaïe prit Jacob à haine Now, à cause de la bénédiction qu'il avait reçue de son père et il se dit en lui-même La mort de mon père n'est pas loin, alors je tuerai Jacob, mon frère. Amen. Amen. Ah, tu l'as dit, Esaïe à l'objet. So here we heard what Esaïe said. Bien aimé, tu as un combat spirituel. Beloved, we are in a spiritual battle. Ma camoufle, tu as un combat. Esaïe ne lui a pas compris dans le matériel spirituel. The things that we are saying, you must understand and hear in the spiritual ear. Parce que ceux qui viennent à l'eau ont gagné la haute et la spirituel. Because if you win in, in the spiritual, la haute et la physique et vous se soumettre. The physical things will bow down. Pour la chose à la longue à la vie na yo. In order for you to be victorious in your life, begin to be, uh, win in the spiritual. Amen. Amen. Awa ezaya le pibo loko la papa ta ko kenda ko kufa. And here I is he said as that guy on to die. He has kept hatred in his heart. Every time he looked at Jacob, he looked at him with hatred. He said, just wait until our father dies. The day that father will die, I will kill you. The day that father will die, I will kill you. But if we follow the word, everything that you accept in your spirit takes part, begins to take part of your life. You cannot say good to that person, even if you have your children. When the, the name of the person comes out, you will hear him say, what he has done to me. If we are in this way today, it's because of them. If we are living this way, it's because of them. Look at what he did to me. Look, he stole what was a blessing to me. Look, he took what was from me and they transmit it to their children and their children transmit information to their children Amen. so they transmit it to their children and when they hear that name they will begin to say what they had done to our grandparents, what they done to our father. The grandchildren say what they done to our grandparents. That hatred goes down generation to generation. Because we are saying the battle between Israel and Amalek. So where did Amalek come from? Because we've heard the name of Israel. How about Amalek? So we will read in Genesis 36, verse 9 to 12. Voici la génération des Alu. These are the generations of Israel. L'ancêtre des Dômes dans la montagne de Seir. The father of the Edomites in the hill country of Seir. Nom des fils des Alu. These are the names of Israel's sons. Eliphaz. Eliphaz. Fils d'Ada. The son of Ada. Épouse des Alu. The wife of Israel. Ruel. Ruel. Fils de Basma. The son of Basma. Épouse des Alu. The wife of Israel. Donc les Alu à Zélaki n'a pas une mari. So Israel had two wives. Basma ou Ana, Zélaki par Cananéen. Those wives were Canaanites. Et par Moïse Balé, Zélaki basia Israel. And they were both Israel's wives. Mais dans moi si on est libosso Ada a botté les mots à Kombo à Eliphaz. With the first wife Ada, he he birthed Elpha, Eliphaz. Na verse And in verse 11, Eliphaz y pour fils. The sons of Eliphaz. So we know that Eliphaz was the only one that Israel had more than Ibosu. So Eliphaz is the first child with the first wife. Eliphaz was the one that had more than Ibosu. He had a wife and began to birth children. Eliphaz y pour fils. Eliphaz's sons were Temna, Teman, Omar, 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 Chefo, Chefo, Gaitam, Gaitam, and Kenaz, and Kenaz. Bible read us chapter verse twelve. And the Bible tells us verse twelve. The first and second were the Eliphaz. Tima was a no. Is Tima second? Yeah, Tima was a concubine of Eliphaz. And that's why she had been married to Eliphaz. She was the second wife of Eliphaz. Just as the father had two wives, Eliphaz had been as if by Tima. Eliphaz also had two wives. But with the second wife, Eliphaz had been with the one. 
And um, Eliphaz gave birth to a son. Yes, he Amalek. And named him Amalek. So Amalek is the son of Eliphaz. Eliphaz, oyo, azari, wana, ya, Esau. Eliphaz who is the son of Esau. So everything that Esau was saying, Eliphaz, Eliphaz had heard. Eliphaz, and Eliphaz, all that he had said, Amalek, Amalek had heard. Amalek, and Amalek kept the anger that was with his grandfather and that hatred and anger went to Amalek. Amalek. Amalek disliked Israel just like that because of what Israel had done and he hated the whole generation of Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's really important for us to understand the story. You will see someone fighting you. They are not fighting you for you. But because of the bad wrong that your grand parents had done because of the bad that your mother had done or the bad that your father had done and if you do not understand and think you did not do anything and it's the first time you've met them you don't even know them but look at what they are bringing to you Beloved, the spirit calls the spirit. Everything begins in the spiritual world. There is nothing that is coincidence. Coincidence does not exist in the world. Even if you're walking down the street and you we may say that it's a coincidence. When they were passing, the sun came and came. In the spiritual world, there's no coincidence. Everything has a, a sense, makes sense. If they want to try with you, they will first try spiritually. And if they are victorious spiritually, then in flesh they will be victorious. But if they cannot overcome um, the spiritually, it will be difficult for them to Amen. do in flesh. Amen. 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 So this fight, Amalek stood with the anger of the grandmother. He said, me, Israel, me and them are enemies. My father, Eliphaz, did not do a thing. My grandfather, Israel, did not do anything. But I have taken this on board. I am taking it on. I will fight Israel. The Bible tells us to read. Moïse a lobi na Josué. It says that Moses told Joshua. Atu yo koti le ma yo kogundisa Amalek. You will stand and fight Amalek. Ngai na Aaron na ir to komata di kolona gumba. Myself, Aaron and Ho will go up to. Paske Moïse a kovela ki ni tumba o e kozela ni tumba yanzo tote. Alleluia. Moses understood that his fight was not a fight. Ni tumba o e kozela yanzo tote. It cannot be a flesh. Ati ni Josué lo bi yo ke ni kogundisa Amalek. He sent Joshua to fight Amalek. Ngai. But myself, Aaron, and who will go up to the mountain. Everything that we will overcome will be so if, you know, if you do not know to bow down, down to your knees, you will be someone who will be able to do it. Your knees must be able to do it. You must be able to stand. The Bible tells us that we do my ebani. When the fight began, that we Josué akumi ko unisa amale. When Joshua began to fight amale, that we Josué akumi ko unisa amale. When Joshua began to fight, Moses did not go down the mountain to fight. Moses on the mountain began. Moses atumboli maboko le maboko. He raised his arm and he had arms. He began to pray. That we Moses atumboli maboko. The Bible tells us that when Moses raised his arm, that was a boy. Joshua was winning over Amalek. When Moses became tired in his hands, Amalek, Israel. Amalek began to win over Israel. Aaron and her understood. And they said when we were observing, we saw the power that when Moses raised his hand, 
Amalek to battle Amalek. That is what is allowing us to defeat Amalek. But when we saw that Moses were tired, and tired and and we saw that Amalek became stronger. Beloved, the enemy is because they have found a weakness in you. They will come to make you weaker. Beloved, the one that tells you don't go to the is an enemy in your life. You will not know this. No, it's a friend in your life. But they are an enemy of your spirit. Because the flesh will lie in places that are bad. But the spirit that is within you, God can see your spirit. God has placed everything in your spirit. The Bible tells us here Amalek was winning when uh, Moses became tired. Beloved, raise your arms. Has, has, raising your arms has power. So, so this, this verse, God said this in verse 16. He said, because the arms had been raised on the, thro- the kingdom of God, there will be a fight with the uh, of the Lord against Amalek from generation to generation. So you beloved, if you raise your arms and you will give control, the Lord control to enter your fight. Do you know what it means to raise your arms? To raise your arms is like saying, you, you cannot do anything. God, I cannot do anything. I raise my arms to you. That is what Apostle Paul said. He said, when we stand before the Lord, we must raise our arms. I see today Christians when they are praying. Some are worshipping, but they are sat down. There are only two positions for a worshipper, for a man of prayer. You either you're standing with raised arms or kneeled down with raised arms. Sitting is a is a sign of all is that time we need to because this is the time of a fight. You should want God to come into your fight. God will enter your fight when you have raised your arms. Let's raise our arms. Say, God, come into your fight. God, come and 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 fight.
How he attacked you on the way when you were faint and weary and cut off your tail, those who were lagging behind you and he did not fear God. Therefore, when the Lord your God has given you rest from all your enemies around you, in the land that the Lord your God is giving you for an inheritance to possess, tu effaceras la mémoire d'Amalek de dessous des cieux, nous ne ne l'oublions point. You shall blot out the memory of Amalek from under heaven. You shall not forget. Parce que Awa Moïse a la promesse que parce que Moïse faut attirer à place et pas à Josué. Because here and Moses had to leave this place. He began to remind Joseph. He said that, remember when we came out of Egypt? Amalek came to fight us with no reason. He did not fear God. Beloved, Amalek does not fear God. Because Amalek is a fruit of flesh. The Bible tells us that flesh has desires that are in contrary to the spirit. And the spirit also has desires in contrast to the flesh. They are opposites. Flesh will only fight the spirit. Amen. Amen. That is why sometimes you see in the Bible God says uh, separate yourself from these people. Because those people are not coming by spirit but by flesh. So now Moses is telling Joshua he said do not forget what Amalek had done. Amalek Amalek always looks for oh, 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 Do not forget. You must finish and then that is a reminder. Amen. 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 As I'm telling us today, you must know that Amalek is a fruit of the flesh. Amalek is in the same Ishmael. as Ishmael. Ishmael is the fruit of the flesh. 
He did not come in spirit. He came in the flesh. With the needs of the flesh. With thoughts of man. That is what Ishmael came in with. Your fight, in your life you must fight. You must get rid of the spirit of Ishmael. That is the one that comes from the flesh. Everything that you would do in the flesh. Will not please God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why Sarah said to Abraham, she said, Cast um, away Ishmael. He said, my, she said, My son Isaac will not be in the same place as, place as Ishmael. Because Sarah understood. If we read, we will see that the Bible tells us Ishmael was laughing at Isaac. Get rid of Ishmael in your life. Amen. 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 So God gave an order through Samuel. So the fight continued. It started in Genesis. Went through Exodus. Went to Numbers. Now he has come to First Samuel. So I want us to read. It's a little bit long. But I will read myself very quickly. Just to understand what I'm about to say. First Samuel 15, 1 to 9. I am, he said, I am the one that chose you. C'est moi que l'Éternel a envoyé pour toi le roi sur son son peuple. I am the one the Lord sent to anoint your king. C'est Israël. Israel. That is Samuel talking to Saul. He said, I am the one that poured, came to pour oil. God sent me to pour oil over you to become the king of Israel. But hear what God is telling you. God has said, Go and fight Amalek. He, became to remi he started reminding him. Now that he took the Lord of the hosts, I have noted what Amalek did to Israel. In opposing them on the way when they came up, up of Egypt. Now go and strike Amalek and devote to destruction all that they have. Do not spare them. But kill both men and women. Child and infant. Ox and sheep. Camel and donkey. That is what God said to Saul. He said to Saul, I remember what Amalek had done. Amalek fought Israel. Because he knew what Israel is spiritually. If somebody is talking, it's as if they are poking God's eyes. Who has the power to put their finger in his eye? So it shows that the one who is going to have to enter that fight. You might think it's unjust, but God already chose it. That is God's choice. No one can change it. God already chose you. He did not ask for any advice that I should like Matthew. If you say I do not like Matthew because he's bad, this is your problem. It's better that you should like God to bless you. Because if you do not want Matthew, you are looking for problems with Jehovah. God said here, Samuel and Saul. Samuel went and told Saul. He said, "The things I am telling you, go to Amalek, kill them all. Whether it's a woman, whether it's a child, even the infants. So infants are those that are still resting. And you might say that God is a God of um, he likes everyone. Do not become an enemy of God. 
Oh, na solo balelo, na solo bana pale nzaka. Who I'm saying to them, saying on behalf of you. Who you also go and call my enemy now? Whoever becomes your enemy, just raise your arm. Whoever you are standing and you are talking about, take care of that person. That you are not going to do anything. It will be very dangerous. So if they do not repent, that's why they will be out. God said here. But I'm going to tell you. Tell them. 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 Tell Bangombe, beef, um, cow, bameme, um, sheep. Nyoso, oh, goti kambo kawala na eloko bogoti. Do not leave the land with anything. Eloko oh you saula salaki. What Saul did? E kudaki bogoti na e. Um, cost him his uh kingdom, his throne. Amen. Amen. Malinto kundi kutanga. So I want us to continue. Kutanga na verse eight. So from verse seven. The Bible tells us Saul bati Amalek depuis Avila jusqu'à Shur. Saul defeated Amalek from Havila as far as Shur. Qui est en face de l'Égypte. Which is east of Egypt. Il prit vivant Agag. And he took Agag. Roi d'Amalek. The king of Amalek. Et il dévoua par intérêt tous les peuples en le passant au fil de l'épée. And devoted to destruction all the people at the edge of the sword. Mais, but, mais. But Saul and the people abandoned Agag. Saul and the people spared Agag. And the best bread. And the best of the sheep. The best bread. And of the oxen. The best bread in the second portion. And of the fattened calves. The agneau gras. And the lamb. And all those who had the the. Il y avait des bons. And all that was good. Il ne voulait pas les dévouer par interdit. And would not actually destroy them. Et il dévouait seulement tout ce qui était méprisable et chétif. All that was despised and worthless, they devoted to destruction. Le monde est si chaos, nous avons appris ce qui se passe au Congo. We saw here where God turned His back on Saul. Nous avons atteint ici Samuel, le père Samuel, Abou Mamba, Abalesi, et Nyonso. God sent. Samuel to tell Saul to kill all the women of Saul. Even animals, even children, even women. Everything. But when Saul went to fight, he began choosing the big ones. He said we will leave that aside. The slimmer ones we will kill. Bien-aimés, si nous continuons l'histoire de Saoul, c'est là où il y a un échec de Saoul. C'est le lieu où il y a un échec de Saoul. Faillé, je pense. Faillé, je pense. Parce que Saoul, 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 Did not have the the knowledge, although he was told. He should have known when this story had started. Because if he knew how it started, he would have killed them. But because he didn't, he didn't know the full story. He thought it was something to play about with. Do not mess with. Do not the flesh. The flesh is the enemy who's lying. So if you do not wear that, they, they will say, uh, 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 they will say, uh, 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 This flesh will never thank you. If you will fight for your body, in brackets. My name was Luke Ball. I was a par pa from Paris. Panama. <laughs> Panama. 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 I was a, a child of the Eiffel Tower. I was dressing. Yes, for real. It's not a joke. I was really. Different. People were buying clothes from my body. They would look at me and say, oh, you like that? Do you need it? And I would give it to them. So bring me my clothes and people would come. I was hanging around with lots of colleagues from Brazil. So when I say dress, I was very, I would really there are other things when I just say I think they don't know. Hallelujah. Amen. But today when I walk, people might say, "Look at this." One time, just 
will trousers and lifted quite high. When I was passing, I saw young children, youth looking at me. When I passed, they started laughing. Because it's not their style. They began to laugh. I said, when we wore these, you weren't around. But those people will not know you. No one will clap for you. Everything will pass. Everything will pass. Soto is a pamba. Flesh is nothing. There is a person who sang and what did I not say? Shoes from Western. I gave you a shirt. I gave you a belt. And today you've left me. So that's why you must not give your body in the first place. To your life. If you receive. Thank God. Thank God. If you do not have, thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Saul. Saul. So, began to keep uh, oxes that were 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 a gag. Gag. He left and uh, he kept a gag. What Saul had done, everything that he had left behind, he allows the spirit of Amalek to continue. So we'll flesh if you do not kill the flesh, that is why mothers, when we are at home and talking to our children, the education of your children is not just through speaking, it's through gest gestures as well. What you do in front of your children, if it's spiritual, the children will follow so the spirit. Share. If it's a flesh, the children will be carnal. 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 Okay. La share. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Bitumba oyoko longa. So the fights that you will overcome. Your children Amen. will also overcome. Do not give time to the flesh. Amalek would laugh at you. Here, here the Bible tells us. We will see the consequences of what Saul had done. God sent him to destroy all Amalek. But because he did not. He kept the big, the big things, all the nice things. He allowed them to continue. He could not destroy them. So that fight was So I will read from 1 Samuel. And we are finishing off here. 1 Samuel chapter 30. 1 Samuel chapitre 2, verset 1 au verset 8. Chapter 1 to 8. Lorsque David arriva le troisième jour à Tiglac avec ses gens. When David and his men came to Ziklag on the third day. Écoutez-moi ici. Listen to me here. Les, les Amalécites avaient fait une évasion dans les midi et à Tiglac. The Amalekites had made a raid against the Negev and against Ziklag. Ils avaient détruit et brûlé Ziglag. They had overcome Ziglag and burned it with fire. Après avoir fait prisonnier les femmes et tous ceux qui s'y trouvaient, petits et grands, ils n'avaient tué personne, mais ils avaient tout amené et s'étaient remis en route. And taken captive the women and all who were in it, in it both small and great. They killed no one but carried them off when went and went their way. So what the Bible is telling us. When David and his men were away from their country, David said was in Ziglag. So Amalek came to overtake Ziglag. They set fire to Ziglag. They destroyed the whole land. 
See what the enemy does. They took all the women, all the children. So even kept left David. But here it says that they took everything from David's land and went with them. And the Bible says when David and his men arrived and found his city on fire, he saw what, how the enemy had destroyed everything. He began to cry. David and his men came to the city. They found it burnt with fire. And their wives, sons, and daughters taken captive. Alors David et le peuple qui étaient avec lui élevèrent la voix et pleurèrent jusqu'à ce qu'ils n'aissent plus la force de pleurer. Then David and the people who were with him raised their voices and wept until they had no more strength to weep. À cause de Saul. Because of him. Saul. Because of Saul. Because of Saul. Because of Saul. So instead of him killing all of them and destroying Saul killed David. Now look at the problems that have come to David. The Bible says when David arrived, he found that David and everything were taken. David began to weep. He began to weep. They said that he wept until he could not weep. No anymore. And all those that were with David, they said that we were David. We were going to kill David. Because if they have taken all of us, our wives, children, and so on, it's because of you, because we followed you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because they allowed the Amalek to live. They left their things behind. We see the consequences. That is why fathers and mothers, when we are coming to church, we have come to fight. We do not come to mess around. Our children have not yet understood. But because we understand, we must um, become victorious over our enemies. Amen. Amen. Very quickly to finish off. I will first give us what Amalek do. What is the mission of Amalek? The mission of Amalek was given to him. The Bible tells us in the thief comes only. The thief comes only. When the thief comes, he only comes with something for he comes to, to destroy. The, the thief comes to steal and destroy. That is the reason of Amalek. Amalek is the reason of Amalek. Amalek in your life is not coming as your friend. Even if they please your body and flesh, it's because because they know where your ending went will be. Because they have have already been condemned and does not want to go alone. They want to associate you with them. Do not walk in flesh. We are army of the end time. Beloved, it's not just a name. We must understand the that time that we're in. We are the army of the end of time. If you do not know, the enemy will attack you. You will feel that you are innocent. But it's because of where you have stood. Because you are a soldier of God. Jesus said that the world will love them. It will not love me. Because I'm showing them that they're wrong. The, the first thing that Amalek comes to do in your life, they come to destroy. That is what they did. They burnt the city and they destroyed it. Amen. That is Amalek. And the second, 
Et après avoir fait prisonnier les femmes et tout ce qui s'y trouvait, petit et grand. They said that when they came and held captive the women and all that was big and small. When Amalek comes to the world, it's to captivate you. There are some people, and I know this because I also smoked, and, and I took the decision to stop. And I said I will no longer smoke. So maybe two days. And on the third day when I go out and meet friends, I'll say, just give me a little one, not the whole one, just half. And I'll smoke. Because I will remain with them, I'll just say, just give me a whole one. And then I'll take my own money and buy my own. You will be prisoner. If you do not smoke, you will feel something's missing. So when you eat, you will feel that to all, in order to feel good, you must smoke. When I was taking drugs, I didn't know that I became addicted. I didn't know. The, the day that I did not have it, that is when I was When I didn't have it in the house. I felt really cold and I didn't eat much. I wasn't eating, I just didn't feel well. I can compare it with the coronavirus. I'm telling you the truth. You feel that pain in your back and think what is happening. Just as soon as my friends came to see me, they, they asked me, have you not heard anything? And I said, no. And the way I'm here, I'm just gone. And they said, we've bought something to share. And when we began to study, when I just took the first course, I just felt like something that was here was removed. And I felt sad for my life. So, and that's when I realized I became addicted. So I thought the people that I laugh at, at I've also become the same. And I took a decision to stop. I couldn't. And I stopped in prison. My life sometimes I say that God loves me. God really loves me. He loves me. My son is paying for what I could not overcome. Amen. Beloved, we must overcome the flesh. The flesh will not give you a thing. I became addicted without knowing it. The only thing that was missing is to start uh, injecting. There was only a small ba a barrier to start injecting. That is where I was going. I was sniffing. I was smoking. But God loves you. God loves you. Because what I'm telling us is in order for us to not go down that route. You must know that Amalek does not love him. He will show us though he does. The flesh does not love him. The first enemy of your life is not the devil, the enemy. The first enemy in your life is your, your body, your flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If he comes, he will hold you captive. You will see this beautiful woman who lies to her husband. Do you think that in good reasoning that woman could do so? Because she's kept, she's held captive, she's a prisoner. She's a prisoner. And the third thing, he comes and takes all that is yours and takes it away. 
He takes all that is yours and takes it away. The three things that Amalek does. But very quickly to show us how to destroy the Amalek or the spirit of Amalek. Because we are able, we are capable to kill the flesh. To kill the flesh. Kill the flesh. If you do not overcome flesh, your, the body will overcome you. But the prayer and the wish of my heart is for you to overcome your flesh. It's not bad to dress. Even money isn't bad. But when you then are in love with money, when you begin to love money more than man, then it becomes dangerous. There's a, a sister who once knows her. She said, she said, oh, I love money. She said, with money, I can do every, anything. She said, I can do anything with money. So for money, she do anything. And she's saying what is within her. So the per that person who said they can do anything for money, do you think that they said that they would not be able to do that? They said everything. Everything is what? Everything is everything. So for money, you are saying that that means you do not love God. So I'm going to show us how we can kill Amalek. The spirit of Amalek. The Bible tells us. Mais David reprit courage et sa et sa prière sur l'Éternel son Dieu. Et là, on nous fait voir. That David um, remains with God. David sa prière Rem remains uh, à la lui tâche, laid on God. A qui confiance t'as eu dans David? Il est trust in God. David a lui as ma grâce t'as eu so à qui confiance t'as eu dans David? David put all his strength in God. He put his trust in God. That is the third thing. To overcome the Amalek. To overcome the fight, the spiritual fight. The first thing. He took courage and attached himself to God. That's the first thing. If you want to overcome flesh, attach yourself to God. Remain with God. Because the Bible says all will pass. But if you hold on to what will pass, where will your ending be? You will pass. Because you have to hold on to what will pass. But if you hold on to God, because God is God. He is God and he will remain God. How will you be? You will always be with God. The first thing David did was that he attached himself to God. He didn't look at his own strength. He said, I could not do it with my flesh. You will not be able to do it with flesh. Remain with God. God loves you. Your life is not a coincidence. You, you, you might ask yourself, what about my life? God said to remain with him. Come. Eternal Lord, I bless you. I thank you, Father. I come with Falon to you. I destroy all that is... All that is in contrary. That is not in your will. In the life of your servant. I cast it away. I bless her from head to toe. I declare your word, Lord. In her life. Allow your word to be met. It does not come. I bless her, Lord. And she is blessed. Lord, her hands are raised. 
Enter her fire. Enter her fire. Wherever she has ended, you begin. Lord, you said, You will not give your honor to any one man. Not even. You will not give your glory to any man. Not even your honor to idols. God, choose your glory. Bless her. In Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved. Let us attach ourselves to God. If you know God, Amalek will run from you, far from, far from you. People say oh, she, she's too much or he's too much. Oh, they're always in prayer, prayer. That is the running. Oh, you go into them. Oh, if you go there, it's always hallelujah. Let's just go to flesh will love you if you remain with God. If people love you, you must want to know why they do, they love you, why they are remaining with you. The second David asked um, if effort. Is that a number? Oh, it's a clove. A clove that's a uh, uh, priest. Priest it's a clove that they would wear to speak no, to God. Ask today, beloved, when, when Amalek comes to find him, wears a suit of the priest's suit. God said, You are my priest. You are my priest. You are my I have chosen you. Where, like, dress like this. And a priest takes God's side. A priest is someone who prays. Someone who's searching for the will of God to be made. David said, my flesh will not be He said to the priest, he said, bring me the garment, the garment. And in that time, David became a priest. The only king that was king, David was king. He was a priest. And he was a prophet. He is the only king. That is why God said, that's the man of my heart. Saul so went on to try and kill David. And till he, he himself went on to die, he could not kill David. Because he was protected by God. The third thing. God, I mean, David consulted God. In anything, consult God. If you see something normal in your life, consult the Lord and ask him, why is this thing happening? Today I said I will ask God. There is something that comes to me. When I dream, the dream is always upside down. I um, dreamt today that it was really hot, sunny. When I open the window for my news, it's going to rain. So I said, Lord, why does my dream never go this way? Amen. Beloved, God is He only knows why. But I want him to tell me. David went to ask God. Because the Amalekites If we follow the story, David does not even know what he's doing. He does not know where they've taken his women. They do, he does not know where they went with his, their things. Their, he went to ask God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God knows everything. Amen. Do you say to God knows everything. There is nothing that can change that God will not know. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, we must trust God. He is God. He is the one that saved us. He is the one that chose us. David went up to ask God. And David went to ask God. He said to him, Why do you want to kill me? 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 Why do you want
Je m'assieds. Pour la fin de l'éternel lui répondit Pour suis car tu atteindras et tu délivreras. Il dit Follow it through and she will. Wait and you will be there. I declare and I declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus, by the authority of the Lord Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit. All that the enemy has done, you will stand. Amen. Beloved, we will rise. We will take five minutes. I will show us when David is going to get it. He said, "Go and you will get it." Let's go back to the story of Amalek. When the story of Amalek was spoken, Moses understood spiritually. And the Bible said, Aaron and Hur held his hands, supported his hands. You will raise your hands. You will. Au nom puissant de Jésus, Éternel Dieu de gloire, Dieu de puissance, 
Lord of Lords. Your is for everyone. But today, in Jesus' name, we remove you in our lives. We are in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're going to clap it.